What is up, beautiful people? It is me, Ty J. As you know it, if you cannot hear me, it's because my air conditioner is on. And my new Benz, oh my, this ain't no Benz, but I call it a Benz because it should be a Benz. But that's another video for another time. However, I am coming to you today with another one, like usual. As you know it, I'm Ty J. And uh, I got my first vaccine shot. Today was day of my first vaccine I have to come back in 30 days to get my vaccine shot too I have the my Moderna that's the one I got I wish I would have got the Johnson & Johnson one because that one only requires one shot but it's all cool I'm going to come back in 30 days to get shot too and um yeah it should be successful I'm crossing my fingers that it is successful and nothing goes wrong. I don't have any side effects or anything like that. However, it, um, they do make you go in, you check in, you get your shot. It takes all of about five minutes um, to do the check in and the shot. And then with the Moderna, you have to sit for 15 minutes just for observation. But nothing really happens. You just sit there. It feels weird. You like what? I got to sit here for 15 minutes. That's what I said. And then following that, I had to um, they had to see what happened. Well, what happened to me? And like literally nothing happened. Like I kind of just was sitting there, and then as soon as I got in the car, like now I started driving. I my arm started hurting. That's what people say. Your arm started hurting. So I recommend you put it in the arm where you get the least amount. Hold on a second because this bus is about to hit me, and I'm about to be mad if it hit me. Like really, like. Chicago transportation is like the weakest of the weakest. It don't make no sense. Like people just, just really, like really fucking clown. Excuse me. But anyway, second, um, the second shot is gonna be in April. Nothing has happened. I don't have any side effects. Beginning in, it's also day one. Um, the only thing that I have felt right now is that my arm does hurt a tad bit. But that I don't really care about too much. I'm sitting here trying to get to the damn expressway. Why am I even on 69th? Like, where the hell is the fucking expressway entrance at? Like, where am I even at? Like, I should get my car washed. But anyway, that is that, guys. If I have other symptoms that I have never had before, I will check in with you guys to let you guys know what happens and how I'm feeling. In the MF in meantime, I'm currently looking for the expressway. And how do I get to the expressway? I do not know. Huh. Okay. I'm going, y'all. That was vaccine one. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys. Before I go, I have to tell you guys about what happened. I forgot to tell you guys. So I'm in here getting my, um, trying to get my vaccine, trying to get registered or whatever. So the doctor, the nurse man guy, whomever, whatever they call it, um, he decided he wanted to shoot his shot. So he like, you got your phone? I'm like, yeah, why? I got it right here. He like, uh, can I call you? Like, that had to be the lamest hotline of all time. It's like, it's 2021. Like, y'all got to come better than that. Then after that, I'm like, he like, how you spell your last name? So I'm like, okay, it's um, more. I spell my last name. I always say with two O's, right? He gonna, uh, he gonna put that whole thing down. He gonna put my last name. He gonna put with and put two O's. Everything that I said, he put in as my last name. So I'm sitting here like, this can't be serious. Like, either this man is on crack or I need to leave. Because why the hell would you put that whole thing down on your on your paper? As if that's really what my name is. Like, it, could, it couldn't be serious. I couldn't, I couldn't take it serious. I'm like, maybe actually, maybe this is a sign that I shouldn't be doing this because these people are crazy. But then again, I did go all the way to Inglewood, so what do I expect? Even though that health center looked it really nice, I wonder when they built that because it was like really, really nice. <sighs> okay, guys, so today is day two of getting my dose. Well, actually, you know what? Today is day three of me getting my second dose of for the COVID vaccine. And I'm gonna let you guys know how successful and stupid this shit is. Give me one minute to get into it. All right, so 
I'm just gonna jump right into it because I gotta let you guys know how bad this is, but it's also like not bad at all. I don't know why. I'm just so used to looking at my rearview mirror when I could just look at my little thing right here and let me know if anything is behind me. But anyway, so I came over here to Inglewood. Remember when I was telling you like they had um it was quick and simple and all of that good stuff. Nothing really happened. Um, I love the fact that they have these cool buildings over here. They're trying to build, fake build up this neighborhood. They need to put money in these vacant lots that I'm looking at currently now. But um, you see all them vacant lots? You see them? Y'all see what I'm talking about. But anyways, so I initially had uh, my second dose appointment out in Tenley Park, right? But when I got, but I lost my slip, like this slip here, like clearly this slip is like man important. So, which is all what the part that I said is dumb as fuck. Because if you can find me in the system and you see that I got dose one, why the hell do I need to have this paper with me just to get my dose two? First of all, y'all need to find out another method because what happens if somebody does not keep up with their paper? Like me, like some people out there that really may not keep up with their paper. And you're going to deny them their second dose because they don't have that paper, a, a cutout paper that you gave them. That doesn't even make any sense. That shows that you really do not care about people's safety and people's wealth or health or anything like that. Because there should always be a second a second way for someone to still get this COVID. You guys been pushing it so much about what the hell is this? You guys see this shit? What the hell? That looks so stupid. But anyway, um, it's supposed to be a garden, but it's like mirrors all over it. That was just the ugliest shit I ever seen. But yeah, you guys stress so much about how you want uh, people, especially African-American people to go and get the COVID vaccine and blah, 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 right? So it's people that's doing it, but it's like people are also just like me and may by chance misplace a little five by five card that you gave them. Like, what the hell? So I had an appointment on Saturday, long story short, and I went out and I went, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Tinley Park because that's where the WP people going. So I'm gonna go out there it should be good it should be sweet she found me in the system but she still said that she couldn't give me the second dose without the paper that pissed me off because i drove all the way from high park to tenley park just to get this fucking dose that only takes about 25 minutes tops to do and then i come back into the city and talking about oh you can go to the first place where you got um the first dose from have them print you out another one because that's what they should do should be able to do and then come back today if they print you out another one and get you can get your dose no matter what time of the day you come okay so i drive all the way fucking over here from tilly park to inglewood trying to find a fucking way for me to get this paper i drive all the way over here and the fucking place is closed so y'all know i'm pissed off even more right so you telling me that you just sent me on the fucking blank mission to come all the way over here to get a slip that was not even, it's not even fucking possible to get? All you have to do is say we can't give you it and then just don't come back. So then I called the hotline, the hotline number. They, I'm surprised they answered. That was actually shocking to me. But yeah, I called them and then they, um... Hit me, they um, answered the phone and then they told me they made an appointment back over here to Inglewood today. And if I don't have the paper, that's fine because they should be able to give me a slip or a copy of the paper or print me out another one, right? So when I get there, they're saying the same shit about how I need to have this paper and how I need to make sure they need to make sure I have the first dose. So basically, you're telling me that you see me in your system but you don't see that I got the first dose. I don't understand what the fuck that means. Also, it's like, how are you working in places where it requires like superior and a superior amount of, um, not superior, that's not a good word, but an extreme amount of customer service and you don't even like your job. Like I ain't never came across some kind of nurse or 
whomever somebody in the hospital that don't even like their job it's like why are you even here trying to help people survive and you don't even like what you're doing why are you even here i hate coming across people that do not like their job find what you like and what you want to stick with for the rest of your life because you live in an unhappy life if you don't like your job i am not ever gonna settle and sit at a job that i hate i'm not ever in my life doing that I've been through about 10 jobs. Why? Because I knew I hate this fucking job and I'm not going to be here. And look, I end up leaving. I'm so blessed. God blessed me with a job that I actually enjoy. I will never work another job that I fucking hate because I just cannot. I just cannot. But anyway, I got my second dose, guys. I had to sit for 15 minutes. I have Moderna. It after I went to work with a different lady, she was very nice. She gave me a little lanyard to keep up with it. She gave me a little lanyard, so I'm gonna keep this in my car. I'm gonna make copies of it when I go to work. I'm gonna keep it in my car, and then I'm gonna probably get one to my sister just in case. And then I'm gonna keep one in my house. So I think it should be good. I don't think I ever will lose this i don't have any effects right now the first time i said i had a headache because my head i had a headache i believe because i um had a bun on the top of my head when i got my first dose or i had a bun or a ponytail or something like that if you feel this shaking it's just because i'm the road is effed up but yeah I just want to come back with you. I didn't get a cool sticker like some of the people got. Like, oh, I got vaccinated. But yeah, I got vaccinated, guys. And I'll be back in two to three days just to close this video up just to see if I have any symptoms. I may come back in a week to let you guys know what the tea is with that. But yeah, you guys go get vaccinated. God bless. Peace.
what I've been eating recently. But I just wanted to mention that just in case. It, and if you have experienced that too, just comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, the minor headaches, the random headaches throughout the day. Um, the Another thing that has been happening since my first COVID shot was my, um, my sinuses. I've been having to do my sinus sprays a little bit more often because my head tends to hurt like right up in here. I also wear glasses, so that's something to think about. Um, I mean, obviously obviously right and um it tends to hurt up in here so sometimes in the morning i do have to do my my nose sprays my nasal sprays or whatever but i do take it sometimes before i go to bed as well so that's something i've had to do that much more since i got my covid shot um both of the vaccines this last month of me having the vaccine shot i've had, had to do it a little bit more than usual allergy season is coming up as well so that could be Another reason why I have been having to do my shots, I mean my spray, my nasal sprays more than usual. But um, yeah guys, that is just me updating you on my thoughts of the COVID, COVID vaccine, major symptoms, minor symptoms, anything that you can possibly deal with. Nothing overbearing that I needed to like rush to the hospital for or I thought I was like dying and stuff like that. So I think I think you guys should make the best decision for yourselves if you guys decide to get the vaccine go ahead and do so if not that's also fine because it's your body and your opinion but I really hope God blesses you all and I love you guys very much